the next concept is newton's third law of motion In the previous two laws we have discussed about the force and the direction of the applied force and the changes on the body after applying the force but in the third law of motion it creates a concept called force of reaction there are some examples to understand this concept suppose if you want to fix an iron nail onto your wall we should apply some amount of the force on the nail in the uniform direction without changing the direction as well as the magnitude but if you want to throw a ball onto the wall simply we throw it with a force applied this is the ball and the ball was thrown on the wall with the same force the ball will move back towards the observer that means we are applying the force on the wall and the the wall is creating the same amount of the force in the opposite direction to throw the ball or to move the ball towards the observer so the force what we applied is applied force the force what was impacted by the wall is force of reaction according to the newton's third law of motion applied force and force of reaction are same in magnitude but opposite in direction applied force is equal to force of reaction to conclude this whole example there is a statement in the form of third law for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction suppose the person who is throwing the ball towards the wall has applied the force fa and the wall is impacting a force onto the observer is fb both are having the same magnitude but opposite in direction therefore we can say fa is equal to minus fb where minus indicates opposite in direction this third law of motion had many consequences and many examples the first example is law of conservation of linear momentum and the examples of this law, newton's third law is first one recoiling of gun if a soldier fires a bullet that the front part of the gun was be leaded on the shoulder what is the reason behind it suppose if the bullet is coming out of the rifle it impacts a force called applied force with the same amount of the force the gun will move back so to compensate this loss in the energy or uh, to make the equilibrium of these two forces uh, the dependence on the shoulder is very very important for a soldier so the recoiling of gun means the gun will move back after firing the bullet with the same speed this is one of the example for the newton's third law of motion second example motion of a rocket if you see the rocket launching through the nozzle the smoke will come out the smoke which is colliding with the earth will give the sufficient force to move the rocket upwards means the amount of force which is in the downward direction is giving the required amount of force to move the rocket upwards that's why the force of applied is in the downward the force of reaction is in the upward the motion of rocket also we can explain on the basis of newton's third law of motion hitting a ball onto the wall and the ball will be coming towards the observer this is also one of the example and the another consequences of this 
Newton's third law of motion is elasticity. Elasticity is also one of the example of the Newton's third law of motion. Suppose if we take any spring or any elastic material like a rubber thread. Once it is stretched by applying any force or weight on it, that means in one direction we are applying the force, but in the opposite direction within the body there are some forces are created to regain the original position of the body. That's why whenever we remove the external force applied on the body, the body will regain its original state within the short interval of time. That means the applied force direction is like this if suppose but once the force in one direction was removed automatically the body will align in the direction of the reaction force this concept is called elasticity but the reason behind this elasticity called one force that force name is restoring force so like this we can understand the concept of Newton's third law of motion. What are the another examples for the Newton's third law of motion? Swimming is one example. If, it, if you see a swimmer, he is applying the force towards the forward direction with the left hand, the same force will be given towards the right hand. So if you see the diving of a swimmer, it is an alternative mode of change. Walking is also one of the example. We are applying force with one leg the same force will be shifted to the another leg which is in the opposite direction to move back or front. So like this there are many examples which are we are observing or we are doing in our daily life. So this is some conclusion about the Newton's third law of motion. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.